my lesson. All right, I think I should turn this around. I apologize. Sometimes, boys and girls, I forget that I have to turn it around. Here we go. And then, I have almost like an x-ray image. This is an ant eater. And I need to try and find his skeleton. So that's the outline of the ant eater. Can you see? So I have to match it. Ant eaters are mammals. This one is a kangaroo. You can choose this work during work time. Very interesting. It's almost look, looking inside the bodies of those mammals and seeing their bones. This one is a squirrel. This one is a bison. Rabbit. I'll hold it up for you. See, can can you tell Omar, does the rabbit have any bones in his ears? No. no. No bones in his ears. You can choose this work. So this one is an elephant. Lisa, can you tell if he has any bones in his trunk? He has lots of bones. Yeah, but not in his in his trunk. So look carefully. You can really find out some interesting things. That's the platypus. A lot of interesting things about the platypus. Remember, he's the mammal that lays eggs. He has webbed feet. Isn't that your favorite, Nathan? Here's a bat. Did you guys know that bats have thumbs? And you can see his thumb, the bones of his thumb when you look at this x-ray. Look for it when you choose this work. This is a shrew. Shrew. This one is a tiger. Look at his skeleton. He does have bones on his tail. And this is human. and a gorilla next to each other. Isn't that interesting? It's a gorilla. And you can compare them. How do they look the same? And how do they look different? If you choose the skeleton looks the same. There are some differences. There are some differences. Look at the gorilla's arms. The gorilla's arms almost go all the way to its ankles. Human arms don't go down that low. 